is from Shazia. She says, I'd like to know if reciting the ayah or the ayat, the verses of Sakina, the verses of tranquility, which are in Surah Al-Baqarah, verse 246, Surah At-Tawbah, verses 26 and 40, Surah Al-Fatih, verse number um, uh, 417 and 26. Is it at times of stress? Is this authentic? Now, these verses of the Quran include the word as-sakina, tranquility. And the Prophet والسلام, used to ask Allah Azza wa Jal for as-sakina. For example, when he used to dig with the Muslims the trench in preparation for the enemies before they coming, so they were digging the trench, he would say, oh Allah, reveal and make the sakina descend upon us. And the Prophet told us, والسلام, when people gather in a masjid, in a house of worship of Allah Azza wa remembering Allah or studying the Quran, that the sakina surrounds them. So these six verses mentioned, one in Surah Al-Baqarah, two in Surah At-Tawbah, and three in Surah Al-Fatih. These verses were never mentioned in the authentic sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ, but they are part of the Qur'an. And some scholars used to find tranquility in them when recited. Ibn al-Qayyim, may Allah have mercy on his soul, said that whenever our Shaykh and he's referring to Ibn Taymiyyah, may Allah have mercy on his soul, would undergo something that was troubling him. And sometimes he would get these evil thoughts. And this is normal for believers to get evil thoughts, to be attacked by the devils in forms of depression, in forms of doubts, etc. The only difference is that scholars and people of righteousness, they are saved quickly. And Allah Azza wa Jal restores their iman and make them steadfast in few seconds or minutes. As Allah mentioned at the end or at the end, <clears throat> of Surah Al-A'raf, chapter 7, that those who fear Allah, whenever they are touched by such whispers and, and, and such evil thoughts, they remember and soon they can see things clearly. They remember. So whenever Ibn Taymiyyah had these doubts or evil thoughts, at times of illness, at times of weakness, when he was vulnerable the most, he would ask those around him to recite these verses of tranquility, of Sakina, so that it would strengthen him. And in no time, he would regain his strength again. So scholars say that the whole Quran is means of healing and cure. Therefore, if you recite these verses seeking Allah's tranquility and Allah's healing to your doubts and evil thoughts when you are in a distressed times, then this is permissible providing you do not consider that to be from the sunnah. Rather, it is from the Quran generally speaking and the meanings do reflect and have a connection to the distress you are uh, going through. So inshallah, this is permissible and Allah Azza wa Jal knows better.